Hey guys, happy Saturday! I love Saturdays. I don't really know why. There's just something about it. It's like, it's this moment that's here. It's gonna be here for a little bit. It's right in the middle of all this fun. And uh, I don't know, I just really like it. So, I'm going in, that was lace foundation that I went in with first. Oh my God, I did something to my shoulder. And I'm trying to find my TENS machine and I can't. So as you can imagine, I feel like I'm dying. I don't know what I did. Just need a massage, I think. I think I really just need a massage and my chiropractor. So I'm gonna have to call on Monday for an appointment because I'm dying. Okay, so I went in with stick foundation in the shade Lace for um, the main part of my face. And then I did Scarlet as highlighting, okay? But as you can see, it all blends in beautifully. Always bring it down your neck. Hey, Dana, how's it going? All right. Oh, I got a reminder here. There we go. Um, yeah, so that is what is happening. Here we go. Done. All right. Look at how great that foundation looks too. So I did my usual pre-makeup routine, uh, which was setting spray, primer, setting spray. I love it. And uh, so what's your plans for today, Dana? Someone to talk to, I love it. Okay, I'm gonna do contour next. Okay, I'm gonna use the shade Twill. And we're going just like this. Okay. There we go. Don't worry that it's a little bit dark. I'm gonna blend it all in, so don't worry. Okay, and then we're going underneath and down. Okay, now I'm gonna take a really big kabuki brush and this is how I'm gonna blend it in, okay? Because I don't like a bold contour on myself. Uh, maybe if I was going out for like a fancy night or something, or like when I do the modeling pictures, that'd be fine. But yeah, so what it does, the contour just kind of like makes it look like you have more shape. So it kind of makes it, I'm trying to find a polite way of saying it. Um, sometimes takes the pounds off, we'll say. Makes your face look slimmer, whatever. Uh, I like doing it. It looks good. I like it. Cleaning and then relaxing for the rest of the day. Perfect. Um, you're pregnant, right? Are you the daughter that's pregnant? Um, and if you are not, then are you excited about having a new baby in the family? <laughs> okay, so I just went and put on sisterly blush. And I'm just, again, blending it in, okay? Because I like everything really nicely blended. Next up, we're going to go and do some highlights. Hey, Cheryl. How are you? So I'm using the cream to powder highlight, okay? And I put it right on top of my cheekbones, like so. And I go up to my temple. And I go away from my face when I do it, okay? Good morning. Well, technically, we're at afternoon now. But yes, I was impressed that I got started as soon as I did. No, I don't know. I got up early today, but I just didn't really feel like doing anything today. You know how it is sometimes? But yeah, so we're going to go in with some powder luminizer. Now I'm going to use the shade Iridescent. Not available anymore, but really super gorgeous. And I'm just putting it on where I did the cream to powder highlight. Now I'm going down my nose and on my cupid's bow. Nice and light. Doesn't have to be heavy. And now I'm just going through with my brush, my big kabuki brush, and making sure everything is nicely blended in. You and me both, yeah. Oh my, yes. So I'm excited it's Saturday. Like I said, I love Saturdays. You've got, you know, that day, and then you have Sunday still. So I'm going to my girlfriend's house tonight, spending the night there. Um, and looking forward to that. So I'm using, keep missing you. So, yes, it is probably a good thing I'm late today. Um, so I'm using the eyebrow pencil in the shade medium. Okay, and I just wanna go and show you 
side by side what a difference it can make. So I barely use any of the pencil, but just look at the difference that it makes already. It just looks more finished and more defined, which then makes your face look more defined. Okay, so you really don't need much. Feather light touches, I just kind of fill in the front. Okay, really, really lightly, I bring it down and then use your spoolie, okay, and bring it through. Okay, there we go. Look at how great and easy that is. So I could just go ahead and put on some mascara right now, but I am gonna put on some eyeshadow, because I do like eyeshadow. Now I gotta decide what eyeshadow I'm gonna put on. What am I feeling today? I am feeling, let's see, get the blending brush here. I love this eyeshadow brush, love it. So we're gonna go with the shade Slick. Okay, that's this one. And we're gonna go ahead and put this all over our eye. It's a nice light glittery pink, okay? And I'm laughing at friends. It's when Rachel has the dream about Chandler and then Chandler and Joey. It's funny. Okay, so uh, next up, I'm gonna take my fluffy crease brush and I'm gonna take the shade Gingerly, which is a matte caramel, okay? Nice and lightly, we're just gonna go along our crease, okay? And swirl on the outside, do your lid a little bit, okay? Really light, take your time, build your colors. All of our products are great at building up, so you don't have to go and rush doing it. You can take your time and really get to that color that you want to get to. Okay? And back and forth. Okay. Just like so. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and take this really awesome slanted brush, I love it. And I'm gonna take the shade Nonsensical, which is like this matte burgundy. It's really, really pretty. And I'm just gonna go and do the outer corner, like so, okay? It's not a ton of color. I'm just kind of patting it there and then I'm gonna blend it out, okay? But I just wanna put that color in there. Now I'm gonna take that blending brush and we're just softening it up, okay? There we go. And see how it just adds that little hint of color to the outside of your eye and it looks really really pretty i like it i love this palette that i built it's so great and to almost finish it off i'm going to take the shade covetous okay with this short stubby brush and we're just going to go ahead and do highlight on the inner corner of my eye okay and it lightens up your eye and it's super, super nice. If you go in too heavy, just use a brush to soften it up, okay? And then make sure you're happy with this color. I'm gonna build it up a little bit more and then I'm gonna blend it out with my blending brush, okay? There we go. Now, I actually am gonna go and line with hey sabrina how's it going i'm gonna actually go in line with that shade nonsensical and i like to start in the middle and then work my way out okay because i'd rather be able to go and really blend it out from the middle than if it was all stuck in one area okay and here we go oh yeah Look at how look, look at how nice that is. Now I'm gonna do just a little touch of my bottom underneath my eyelashes. So we're done with that. Now I'm gonna go in with my black eyeliner because you guys know how much I love my black eyeliner. I love this. It's like the best eyeliner ever. Start in the corner of your eye and then, oh, someone must be at my door. Like so, there we go. 
and it just darkens up your eyelashes a little bit more and it's so pretty i love it okay uh we're gonna go and comb our eyelashes put on some setting spray because like i said i did my pre-makeup routine um which is setting spray primer setting spray and then uh before i do my mascara and my lips I go in again with setting spray and that just takes away whatever kind of makeup y look you may have. You need to, Dana, and I would love, love, love to see it, please. Why is my whole house shaking? Okay. <laughs> oh, I got a hair. All right. And if you like my hair, I am gonna be posting the video. I just did a pre recorded one. Okay, so I'm gonna do my eyelashes now with the primer first. And then try not to be like me and get it on your bottom lashes. But that's just how I roll. Okay. And so setting spray. It helps keep your makeup on in place and helps take away any kind of makeup-y look that you might have. Now, I am a big um, component for blending, which also helps take away any kind of makeup-y look. Um... I mean, yes, obviously I'm wearing makeup. Obviously I like makeup, let's be fair. But I don't like it to be super obvious. I never have. I've always been um, a girl who blended it really well, would usually wear neutrals on my eyes. Now I don't. I do step out of my comfort zone and do other colors. And now it's not even stepping out of my comfort zone. Now I just love doing it. Okay, so we're just putting some 4D on. I love the 4D mascara. It's actually why I started selling Unique. Because if you're in Canada, to buy the beauty box, uh, which is basically the kit, it's $119 plus shipping. So in Ontario, it's under $142 to get like over $500 worth of makeup. And I was like looking at it, I was like, okay, so $35 for the mascara or... $119 and I can get a ton of makeup. So I was like, yeah, I'm going to give that a try. And then I started using it and I was like, oh yeah, I'm going to sell this. I'm going to totally sell this. It's, it's just, this really is a passion of mine. Um, yes, I usually do very natural looks. Like I don't, sorry, I keep getting hair in my mouth. Um, I don't do full coverage necessarily. Like you can still see all my freckles which is really important to me. That's how I like my makeup to be. Um, but I know a lot of people love full coverage, but it's just, this is how I like it to be. So we did primer and the 4D, which I love. Now we're gonna go in with some lip gloss. Unfortunately, we don't have lip glosses right now, but a lot of, you like it too? Yeah, I love a natural look. Like I said, yes, you can tell I have blush on. Well, maybe, but you know, yes, it's obvious I have something on my eyes, but it's not so obvious that it's like, oh wow, I can see her 10 feet down the street. Like, it's just not how I like it, but I don't judge others for how they wear their makeup. Um, so lip gloss. So yes, we don't have it right now, but um, they are gonna be bringing out some sort of lip products in 2021, so yay. But here we are, we're done. And I'm gonna post, I got a hair flying somewhere. Um, I'm gonna go and post my hair video. It was so quickly. Yes, see, Dana, you are the one that's pregnant. I was right. Hey, I'm so proud of myself because normally I have a horrible memory and I don't remember anything. So I'm very impressed I remember that you were the daughter that was pregnant. Uh, and I'd love to see your baby belly. I love baby bellies. But if you have any questions at all about getting any of these items on sale, buying the beauty box, just trying out a product, let me know. Um, I do have a lot of products on hand. So uh, like if you just wanted a mascara, it ships for like $2.20 by Canada Post. So let me know because I have Twisted Mascaras on hand and some Epics. But if you have any questions at all about today's makeup look, go ahead and message me. If you have any questions at all about anything really, I love this stuff, so go ahead and ask me. All right, thanks so much for watching, you guys. Dana, enjoy your eight-month pregnancy there, and you only got one month left, which is really exciting, unless you're like me and my kids had to be evicted each time. But yeah, okay, I'll talk to you guys later, and have a great Saturday. Bye.